Just installed Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and wondering how to actually get flying? In this video, I'll walk you through how to download your aircraft, airports, and add-ons, including what's changed from MSFS 2020, and if you're on a data cap or limited bandwidth, I've got some tips that could save you some gigabytes. Before we get into it, if you're watching this before Sim Update 3 is released, you might want to join the beta. It gives you early access to bug fixes and new features, and it won't affect your progress in career mode or challenge mode. If the update's already live, you can skip this step. MSFS 2024 is designed to stream most of its content. That includes terrain, Bing satellite imagery, photogrammetry, and even some aircraft and airports. The install size is much smaller than MSFS 2020. But if you got slow internet or limited data, you might prefer to download specific content ahead of time. And you can do that through the marketplace. Now you're going to open the marketplace. Then you're going to go to my library. And then you see some tabs here at the top. You're going to click on stream. You'll see things like aircraft and handcrafted airports. Click into any package like the premium upgrade and you can choose specific items to download. Once selected, scroll down and click download at the bottom. You may also notice some of your older MSFS 2020 content is marked as disabled. You can re-enable this in 2024. Just select the item and then click on enable on the bottom. If it says unverified, it means Microsoft and Asobo haven't confirmed compatibility with MSFS 2024. So you can still enable it and download it, but you do it at your own risk. Since MSFS 2024 streams so much content, it's important to manage your data, especially if you're on a limited internet plan. To access these settings, click on the gear icon at the top right, then go to general, and then open the online tab. Scroll to the bottom and you'll see a few settings that we'll want to change here. And here's what you'll want to adjust. Data warning. Set this to get a pop-up when you approach your monthly limit. You can set this, let's say 25 gigabytes. It's now going to give you a pop-up warning when that number reaches 25 gigabytes. You can also set when that limit resets. So right now it's at one day. You can have it at... Uh, every 30 days. Another thing you're going to want to adjust is the bandwidth limit. Reduce this if you want to throttle how much MSFS can use. In my case, I have unlimited, but you can go to 100 megabits uh, per second, 40 megabits per second, 20, 10, or unlimited. And then the last thing you want to adjust here is your rolling cache. Enable this to store scenery locally. Perfect if you fly in the same region regularly. So this, you can put it at 25 gigabytes. You can put it at 100 gigabytes. It all depends on what you have of uh, space in your uh, local hard drive. And you can also change the path here uh, by clicking on it. It's actually going to pop up your Windows Explorer where you can choose the uh, a folder. In my case, I don't have a data limit or bandwidth limit so I'm on unlimited and I will keep this at uh, at zero we'll have it reset every one day even though I'm not restricted I can easily put this so that uh, things load in a lot quicker when I'm flying in the same area on a regular basis if you're changing regions frequently for example from flying in Canada to Asia You'll want to delete your old rolling cache to avoid storage conflicts or outdated visuals. To do that, check the rolling cache path listed here, then go into Windows Explorer and manually delete the cache file. In the MSFS 2020, you can pre-download specific world regions for offline use. That option isn't available in the MSFS 2024 right now. So the best workaround is enabling rolling cache and flying in the same areas if you want to save bandwidth. While MSFS 2024 is built around streaming, you can still download the content you care about and manage your data settings to stay in control. If this helped, hit that subscribe button for more MSFS 2024 tutorials and sign up for my free newsletter 
the Simmer Dispatch. I'll send you sim tips, gear guides, and the latest updates straight to your inbox. Fly smart, download what you need, and keep your skies smooth without maxing out your data plan. See you in the skies.